And I'm going to start today with some big breaking news from Northern Ireland. So police have come under attack during an illegal dissident Republican march in London, Derry. You're seeing images on your screen there of fire in the street and what appears to be missiles and projectiles being thrown at this march. A number of missiles, including those petrol bombs, were thrown at a Land Rover and the violence has come on the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement, which brought an end to the troubles in Northern Ireland. So, very, very concerning stuff there. Let's speak now to GB News' Northern Ireland reporter, Doogie Beattie. Doogie, yes, look, really concerning stuff that's just dropped in the last few minutes, and we understand that, yeah, petrol bombs and projectiles have been thrown at police. Is that right? It is indeed, Patrick, but it might sound a bit weird, but keep calm. This is a uh, normal procedure in some of these parades. There was 94 parades went ahead uh, today. Uh, some of them were illegal parades. This is one of the two that they were worried about, that is Dissident Republicans' parade of the Easter Rising. Most years it starts off with trouble and they try to lure the police in. You will notice from those photographs that there is CCTV cameras on top of those Land Rovers. Uh, I have seen those Land Rovers up close and actually being hit with everything under the sun and inside it the men are safe enough. What they are doing there is a monitoring procedure. They are looking at some young men and women who are being misled and uh, opening up on the police service mm. of Northern Ireland. Uh, and later on, those images will be looked at and there will be arrests in those areas. So the police have chose to monitor the situation rather than go in hard at this point to take, take uh, them down with riot charges, etc. Uh, they are in a monitoring situation. So as much as those pictures do look spectacular, mm. they are... Pretty much the police service in Northern Ireland have this under control at this moment. OK, look, Diggy, thank you very much. And it's um, something that we'll be returning to as and when we get a bit more information. Diggy Beatty there is GB News' Northern Ireland reporter. We will be monitoring that situation, so we'll bring you bang up today as and when there are any developments. But, yes, much more on that story throughout the afternoon.